What's up beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this please make sure you subscribe. If you're new here my name is Izzy and I'm a journalist and I make videos here on YouTube where I visit different animal shelters. I speak to them about the work they do but also raising awareness on different topics and issues and speaking about the challenges that they face day to day. I also speak to different charities and organisations about how they help animals change people's lives. This can be from hearing dogs to guide dogs to animal assisted therapy so without further ado i hope you enjoy this and let's find out where we are off to today right today we're diving into the world of cats again because we are off to avid's angels in bolton which is a cat rescue so they're a registered charity that rescue cats all around the northwest so i'm really looking forward to speaking to them about some of the different stories they've had i know when we visited county cat they had a lot of really harrowing stories about how these cats were treated before so it'll be interesting to see if avid angels say something similar but also other topics and issues surrounding cats that they would like to raise awareness on such as neutering a lot of cat shelters really express the importance of that so yeah i'm excited to speak to avid angels about those sorts of issues as well so without further ado let's head to bolton and meet the team at Avid's Angels and as you can see I'm surrounded by cats they've got every kind of cat you can think of um, but yeah I'm so excited to find out about the work they do and where it all started so yeah let's find out a little bit more these guys want some treats here's some treats can you see them? Avid's Angels and where it all started. Okay, so Avid's Angels, uh, we started in April 2023. Um, it's formed between myself, my daughter Chloe, and a lady called Michelle, um, and we're co founders. Um, yeah, we started 2023. Since we've started, we've done 110. Uh, home adoptions. Um, we've got 43 in foster uh, with our foster parents and we've also got a waiting list of over 50 at the moment so yeah we're quite busy, quite busy. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it you stand for here at Avid's Angels? Um, so basically um, we are there for all the strays, all the unwanted, all the abandoned cats and kittens in Bolton and the surrounding areas. Um, we're there to provide advice and support to people, uh, members of the public who can contact us via our social platforms um and and yeah we, we're just there 24 7 really you know to help advise and guide um and promote neutering vaccination and chipping and uh, what are the sort of topics and issues that you feel need more awareness when it comes to cats in particular right so um obviously we have kitten seasons but um the problem is has gone worse um, since we started in rescue, um, the res uh, so since starting in rescue, uh, we've noticed um, a bigger um, change in as far as we have had more cats needing to come in because of the cost of living. Um, you know people can't afford to keep the pets so they're surrendering them to the charities either that or as the charities are full um, we're then uh, finding that they're strays then out on the street because people are just chucking them out and you know 
Yeah. And what are your hopes for the future here at Avid's Angels? So, for the future... Um, so the future is looking quite bright actually at the moment we've just been awarded our charity status which we're very proud of um, we got that in July which then opens the doors uh, for us to be able to apply for funding which will help further our um, our reach on helping more and more cats um, we would eventually um, you know once we've got funds in place and that type of thing we would love to open a rescue center um to help bolton and you know the surrounding areas so who have we got here so meet ebony ebony is our six week old our latest little resident who we rescued um she's actually quite special um She's had to have MRI scans. She was actually um, came into us. She was paralysed on her back legs. Um, so we've had her under the specialists. Uh, she's even been to uh, the small animal teaching hospital. Um, and it was discovered that when we'd rescued her, she had a flea infestation, which has then resulted into a neurological condition which has then left it paralysed so we're actually training her at the moment to rewalk again and mm-hmm. I guess it's it's a she big challenge like to having to having cases like this we're having to teach them to, to walk and yeah, things like that and, physiotherapy yeah, with them. and um, doing it from your own home as well yes yeah. exactly we do it three possibly four times a day um, but she's doing really well um, <laughs> oh uh, yeah, she's doing really well, um, but we're just, you know, we're just taking it step by step, literally, with that. 